Okay, hello, everybody. It's, it's your boy Krillin64 back here again with the Atari Jaguar collection. How I'm going to start it is I'm going to start with the Atari Jaguar CD collection. It's small. I thought I had more, but I don't. And I'm really small. And then I'm going to show my uh, Atari Jaguar collection, the games and whatever. Then the manuals, the consoles, and everything else I got for it. Alright. So, yeah. Here we go. Let's get started. Yeah, I got one game. It's loose. I got it in a collection in a trade of my uncle. All this Jaguar stuff. It's VidGrid, Interactive Media Compact Disc, Jag Jaguar CD. I, I got this. Yeah, I don't know really much about this, this stuff because I, I haven't played it really. Some Jaguar CD, I mean Jaguar games I have. I played some. So yeah, I know some of them, but the Jaguar CD stuff I haven't really played. But ne next up, hold on. Okay, not a clue. Um, stuff right now. I have Miss Demo. Yeah, I pop. I get the disc out. You can see it is actually the Miss Demo. And then I have. The Tempest 2000 soundtrack. Great game for Jaguar. I just don't know what mine is. I misplaced it or lost it. Some stole it. I don't know. But there's the disc. Great, great game. It's one really good port. And if you like Tempest, I suggest you play Tempest in the arcade if you ever get a chance. Vector graphics like the Vectrex had. It's amazing. I only got to play. I only had a chance to play the game once, but I've seen it like twice ever. But when I played it in the arcade, in Tempest, I love it. But every, people out here say Tempest 2000 is one of the best ports. Is the Jaguar Tempest 2000? Okay, now it's going off, of, going on there. Uh, my uh, Jaguar games. First up, Alien vs Predator. Oh, sorry, no gameplay footage. Don't want to make the. Uh, I have no way to capture the footage, but like I've said in my previous videos, and probably make my my video too long. I'll work on it in, for, for the future and get some video to show. But right now, I'm not able to. So uh, yeah, it's something I'm gonna have to work on. If you guys really think it's necessary. Uh, next game I got Raiden. Next one, Evolution Dino Dudes. Yeah, one thing I think is weird while I'm thinking about it, this little handle kind of thing they have on the cartridge, which, yeah, I'll show you later when I'm getting to the, showing off the consoles and stuff. Well, console slash attachment and add-on thing. I don't know really what to properly call it. Just like I don't properly know what to call it. Like, the 32x that plugs into the Sega Genesis or a Sega CD that you plug in that you hook the Sega Genesis into. I don't, I don't, I think of it as an actual console, but not a console if you get what I mean. But not to get sidetracked anymore. Sorry. Next, next game. Trevor McFur in the Crescent Galaxy. Sorry if I butcher any of the names. Yeah, all the games I don't remember because I don't play it super often. Because to me, it's not one of my favorite consoles. I'd rather play something like my Turbo Graphics Collection once I get it fixed. Like the consoles and stuff, or like my Sega CD, Sega Genesis Collection. So I don't play this as much. It's more for just collecting purposes and just to play every now and again because that's what I am I'm a gamer I'm a collector I love having this stuff okay the next oops sorry about the noise you heard some games some of my other Atari game uh, my Atari Jaguar games Paul 
Next three games, Syndicate. Hover Striker. Hover Striker, not really a great game to me. I've tried it and just, eh. And Checkered Flag. So next, that's the next one. If you guys want to see any gameplay footage of any of the games, you can. I'm sure you can look up stuff on YouTube. Again, sorry, no way to capture it. Okay, the next stack. This is the last bit of games I got. I got Wolfenstein 3D. Double Dragon. Zol 2. Um, I got... Sumi Ninja Iron Soldier Cybermorph, yeah. One game if you guys know but if any of you know about anything on the sit on the console. Not a great game. Not a great game at all. Kind of annoying. You can look up pe people's reviews out there on the game and how bad it is. And then, last but not least, I got Theme Park Designer Series. Yeah, I got this. So, now on to the manuals I got. Then, to the consoles and everything else. Okay, first... I'm lucky that when I got to trade him, when I got to trade him uncle, that I still got the Jaguar manual. And yeah, this is this is this is a thin at this is a pretty thin manual. You can see only like 15 pages. But yet then for the Atari CD manual, Jaguar CD, see how thick it is? Why would it be this much thicker? It's got 55 pages. I guess because I guess this looks like it's in multiple languages, so that would explain why it's in why it's thicker. But yeah, I'm lucky I got the manuals for the consoles. Yeah, and here's the manuals for the games. I would think, it, yeah, as you as you'll be able to tell, I mean, as you'll see, the manuals are in black and white, the covers or whatever. I would at least like them to be in color, if any, if nothing else. I'll show an example of, of like inside one with some pictures, a good one. I like, see the picture here, black and white. I would at least like the cover to to have been color, but oh well. I got Dino dudes. Yeah, not every bit of the man. All the manuals are are perfect, but at least I still have them. They exist. It's better than not having them, I guess. So, I guess the games are mostly complete, just not the boxes for them. Alien vs. Predator Predator manual. The Sumi Ninja manual. Next, the Zola Two manual. Yeah, and just to show you, the stack is like this. Double Dragon Manual. Would be a lot better if the manual was in color. The Checkered Flag Manual is next. Iron Soldier. Yeah, I'm trying to do my best to keep the glare down on the manuals. Sorry if I happen to get some glare. Okay, and then there's Syndicate. Kind of cool cover. Oops. Kind of cool cover, even if black and white, I guess. Ceramic Fur in the Crescent Galaxy. 
Again, sorry if, if I get glare. I'm doing my best with what I got. Okay. Hover strike. Yeah, hover strike. Kind of a thick manual. Yeah, there's manuals you don't normally see with games like this anymore. Heck, you don't really see manuals nowadays. Maybe some indie game companies, will, if they release their game physical, maybe. Next, Wolfenstein 3D. Yeah, this is just a puny manual for Raiden. It's thin. It's like only, what? Seven pages, maybe, if you count this last one being a page, which they don't have a number on it, so I say seven, but officially it's six. Yeah, it's just a thin as can be manual. Yeah, and I don't know why, but some of them kind of like paper feeling, but whatever. Another thick manual, which I can see this being maybe a little thicker, but the theme park manual. Now I'm gonna go on to the one more moment. I'm gonna get on to the consoles. Yeah, sorry if the video is not the best quality. I'm I'm new to making the videos, so uh, I'm kind of like learning what's what will work best for me and what won't, and doing the best with what I've got. I'm just using my webcam and my Logitech. 1080p web camera because that's what I got and oh yeah if you have any suggestions um, anything I can do to maybe try to improve with what I got leave the stuff leave the suggestion in the comments First is first, I'll show the Atari Jaguar. Yeah, the actual Jaguar itself. There's the size, just all plain. I'm not, I don't, I'm not sure what that is for right there. But there, and then here's the uh, attachment, the CD, the CD drive. Yeah, it, it, it still works. I just usually one poor design which I think it was poor you see here no f no f flat the, the doors to, to protect the pins like the connector like on a Super Nintendo or a Sega Genesis what Mega Drive what have you as, as you can see here same it's just open right? that's bad design in my opinion I don't like it and as you can see Take this, and sorry for if the angle is kind of bad. And you just kind of just push it in. Yeah, you line it up just right, and you just kind of push a little bit. You hear just a little bit of noise, and you can do it. And I'll show putting the game in. Basically, you like take the game, and you can see with the handle. Sorry, it's not the best. I you got you put it in. kind of hard to get it in here. Hold on. And you put it in like that. I guess to make it easier, you have the handle. And, yeah. I know for anyone who ever gets, you may ever get a CD attachment, be sure you be careful with it, with the drive, I with the, with the CD drive. I hear they're easy to make them not work anymore like yeah make like i hear make sure it, the, the console's turned off and you before you pull the game out and make sure you hold on to it you get a little more leverage because if i hear if the power's on and this gets disconnected there goes the drive i hear they're temperamental and common to not have them working so me having a look a working one i hear i'm lucky but on to the next part, my uh, 
I got two, two of the controllers. I don't need to show them both. Yeah, it may look kind of awkward, but when you hold it, it feels pretty comfortable. Yeah, a little thick, but yeah. Oh, and if you might be wondering about the numbers on here, number where it looks like a that uh that uh number pad on a old phone on old home phone basically what you would do is you is the games they would come with uh some of these oh there's one other game i forgot i got somewhere around here but i i, I didn't bring it so what i might have to do is throw it in sometime but you get like in the games you'll get like alien versus predator you can have like two overlays purple would be for the alien and the green would be like for the the uh marine you play in the game and what you do i'll show you you take them i'm not going to fully put it in there but i'll put it in it en enough for you to get the and get the idea basically you put it you put it get you put it in and the overlay would show you what buttons you what the buttons you push for the game what they do and, and all that it's pretty cool kind of an awkward looking controller not the best but it's fairly comfortable anyway I hope you guys if you liked the video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment down below. I typically upload Wednesdays, 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time each week.